Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. Well, we made it through the snowy morning, one to two inches across our area. But now, as we roll through the lunch hour, the snow showers moving out on time to the east. A little bit of light flurry activity still lingering toward Rainsboro and eastern portions of Highland County. And as we head down toward Stout, you folks in Rome still seeing the very back edge of those snow showers rolling right along 52, but it won't be too long before you guys are free of the snow showers as well. On a wide view here, you can see what we had this morning now rolling through east. Eastern portions of Ohio and looking back toward Indy. A couple of flurries there, but they are kind of falling apart. I won't rule out maybe a stray flurry as we head through the afternoon, but by and large, things are getting better and better and better on the roads as we head through the second part of the day. In hand in hand with that, the National Weather Service has started dropping counties from our winter weather advisory. Technically, still in effect through 8 o'clock, but Pretty certain these other communities to our east will also be dropped here over the next two hours or so once that snow totally clears our area and heads toward eastern Ohio. All right, let's check and how, see how much we've received from this morning snow. We were expecting one to two inches, and that's kind of where most places have ended up. In Batesville, Indiana, a little bit above that mark at 2.4 inches, Aurora at 2.2, West Harrison, two inches, Osgood, two, Moores Hill. 1.8. Into Ohio, the big winner was Oxford, just shy of three inches. Wyoming, an inch and a half. Same thing, Lebanon, downtown. Hamilton, just over one inch of snow. And into the bluegrass, two and a half for Carrollton, Kentucky, inch and a half for Union. So everybody right around that one to two inch mark. Couple towns went a little bit above. Now, as far as the snow goes, we obviously have been talking about two shots of snow. The one this morning, leftover flurries for the rest of the day. The key here, a much better evening drive scenario. Those of you that spent hours for your morning commute shouldn't be that way for the drive home. Friday, the track is still very variable. The moisture with the system has moved into the Pacific Northwest. It'll be generally headed in our direction, but the latest models may be indicating it's headed a little further south, maybe more of a problem for Lexington than it is for us here in Cincinnati. Want to show you here as we take a look. The moisture from this system by this evening will be rolling through the Rockies. You'll notice it with this area of low pressure. Over the next 24 hours, it'll join up with a low over top of the Gulf Coast, get a little more moisture there, and head to the northeast. Obviously, there's a good bit of real estate between the Pacific Northwest and Cincinnati, so this track can change. But as of right now, you'll kind of notice the trajectory here, taking it in through portions of Tennessee and in through central Kentucky, more so. Than southern Ohio. But a 50 to 100 mile shift is totally a possibility before we hit Friday morning. Right now, 19 degrees at CVG, 20 in Hamilton, most places upper teens to right around 20 for the evening drive. Expect cloudy skies, and we should be generally around 25 degrees. That'll be our high for today. So, looking at our future cast, the snow showers moving out, the clouds sticking around. Tomorrow, though, high pressure builds in. We'll actually see a good bit of sunshine for your Thursday, a nice little breather. Temperatures, though, still on the cold side, close to 30 for a high. Getting on into Friday, notice again, generally the models have been pushing this further and further south. Now, some of them do kind of graze the Ohio River with the chance for some snow, but we'll see what the general trend is here over the next 24 hours. If you've seen any social media posts of crazy amounts of snow, for us that may not be in the cards. Definitely more likely for western West Virginia and on into DC. And notice the timing. It's actually a Friday evening issue into Saturday morning. Today, 26 degrees, some flurries for the rest of the day and staying cold. Tonight we dip down to 15 and tomorrow sunny skies and we should be right around 30. As for the Friday slash early Saturday system, still up in the air. A storm is possible, but as of right now, it does look to be a bigger issue for central Kentucky down into Tennessee and then toward the east coast. Guys? Thank you.